ever wondered how mosquitoes suck your blood? Picture this. Mosquitoes aren't just your average buzzing pest. They're equipped with a sophisticated, almost surgical blood-sucking mechanism. This isn't about brute force or simple piercing. It's a carefully orchestrated operation, a feat of biological engineering. Mosquitoes approach their targets, us, unfortunately, with a stealth that's truly fascinating. They're like the ninjas of the insect world, using their lightweight bodies and near-silent wings to swoop in unnoticed. And when they find their target, they don't just jab and suck. No, their strategy is much more precise and intricate. You see, mosquitoes don't have one but six needles for this task. Six. Each one serves a unique purpose in this blood-sucking ballet. It's a complex system, a masterful design that's taken millions of years of evolution to perfect. So how exactly does this six-needle system work? Stick around and let's delve into the fascinating world of mosquitoes. To understand how a mosquito sucks your blood, you need to understand the anatomy of a mosquito bite. Let's start with the two outer needles, known as the maxillae. These aren't just ordinary needles, they come equipped with tiny teeth. Picture a pair of miniature saws working in tandem to pierce your skin. But the mosquito doesn't stop there. It brings in the mandibles. These additional needles hold the tissue apart like the world's smallest, most irritating construction crew, making way for the real work to take place. And the real work is done by the hypopharynx and the labrum. The hypopharynx acts like a little plumber, delivering saliva into the bite. This saliva contains an anticoagulant, which ensures your blood flows freely. The labrum, on the other hand, is the one that draws blood, acting like a straw for the mosquito to drink from. It's a complex process, isn't it? But there's more to it. Now let's delve into the process of blood sucking. When a mosquito lands on your skin, it's not just haphazardly poking around. This tiny creature is equipped with a sophisticated system of six needles that work in perfect harmony. Two of these needles, the maxillae, are used to saw through the skin, while two others, the mandibles, hold the tissues apart. Once the mosquito has breached the skin, it employs the fifth needle, the hypopharynx, to secrete an anticoagulant. This substance ensures the blood keeps flowing, preventing it from clotting. Meanwhile, the sixth needle, the labrum, bends into a bow. It's this needle that plunges into the blood vessel, acting like a straw that the mosquito uses to draw blood. Each one of these steps is meticulously executed, making the mosquito a master of stealth and precision. The mosquito's meal is complete, but what does this mean for us? After the mosquito has finished its meal, what's left for us? Well, it's not a pleasant parting gift. The mosquito, after having its fill, leaves behind a trace of its saliva in our bloodstream. This saliva, far from being an innocent byproduct, plays a crucial role in the mosquito's feeding process. It contains anticoagulants, substances that prevent our blood from clotting and allow the mosquito to feed freely. But our bodies are not so easily fooled. The immune system recognizes this foreign substance and leaps into action, triggering an inflammatory response. This causes the familiar itchy bump we associate with mosquito bites. And there's more. Mosquitoes are infamous not just for their bites but also for the diseases they can transmit. Malaria, dengue, Zika, these are just some of the potentially deadly illnesses that can be passed on through a mosquito's bite. So the next time you swat a mosquito away, remember the complex process it uses to try and get a meal from you?